All right, let's get right to the bottom line on our Thursday night forecast. Areas with fresh snow are going to see temperatures really hit rock bottom very quickly this evening as temperatures will be falling like a caribou on ice skates. Here's a look at your temperatures right now in the FM area. Six below out there. The wind is at least calm. It's eight below out at the airport in Moorhead. Eight below as well in Langdon. Six below for Devils Lake and Jamestown and Valley City also below zero this hour. Holding on to zero in Detroit Lakes, but look at that. Fergus Falls four below and it's five below in Bedette. So that band of fresh snow that made its way through is impacting our temperatures heading into the evening and factor in a little bit of wind up to the north and west. It feels like 27 below in Langdon on exposed skin. And if you're walking outdoors in Grand Forks, East Grand Forks, feeling like 20s below zero, exposed skin can freeze fairly quickly with wind chills at cold, so bundle up. Here's a satellite view from the visible satellite of the areas of snow. Now it's a little deceiving out to the east with all the trees kind of hiding some of that snow. But the heaviest band, southern Grand Forks County in towards Nevis in parts of central Minnesota. Snow tonight falling Sioux Falls to just south of Minneapolis. Travel in that direction will be a little slippery across area roads. But for us, the snowfall has stopped. We have calm winds and clear skies with fresh snow. That's perfect conditions for rapid cooling. So this is your updated forecast. First and foremost, heading through the 10 o'clock hour, we'll be in the teens below zero in many locations, but there'll be some clouds moving in from the west and clouds will act to warm temperatures up as we go through the overnight hours. Here's the area we have that snow that is on the ground from Grand Forks County in towards Hubbard County. And your temperatures could approach that 10 to 20 below category. I pause this at one in the morning. 15 below if you're walking the alpaca tonight, wear the earmuffs. It's going to be chilly. And I think some of these uh, temperatures out here to the east will fall even colder as you get out east where there is some snow. So Polk County out towards Hubbard County, northern parts of Bell, uh, the uh, Becker County area could see significant snow. Look at this, though. By daybreak, temperatures will actually start warming as clouds move overhead. Periods of light snow through the early half of the day. But again, uh, out to the east, the clouds won't be here yet, so these temperatures are skewed too warm. You'll still be sub-zero first thing in the morning in parts of central Minnesota. Hit and miss flakes through the early part of the day, and once they're out of here, that's the sign that things should warm up, and they will with a west wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour, maybe even some sun in Jamestown. Fargo starts out near zero, rising, though, after that band of clouds and snow moves through to 21 degrees, 16 for your afternoon forecast in Jamestown, temperature of 15 for Babe the Blue Ox in Bemidji. All right, Christmas Day cold air comes and it's here to stay with the pinks showing. Whew, the sub-zero air is here. Sun dogs at sunrise and even a light pillar there as well. David Paul uploading that. Take a look at this. This is a lot of fun. 13 degrees after a warm up on Friday. Not too bad for Sunday, but Sunday night, that's Christmas Eve. After a band of snow showers, temperatures get cold. Mike, those temperatures you see there for the morning of Christmas Day and Tuesday and beyond may have to be adjusted a little bit lower thanks to our deep, fresh snow. Coal in our stocking might not be too bad. We could use it to stay warm. Yes, and definitely don't kiss a flagpole. Oh, we won't. All, All right, right, thanks. Okay.